Let's get back to Dr. Donna Radichuk, uh, Morgan Keegan's consulting economist, and our own economics editor, Michael McKee. Gentlemen, thanks so much for staying with us. And Dr. Radichuk, uh, as uh, we were hearing from our Lizzie O'Leary, uh, the purchases that the Fed official is going to continue through June, quoting here, will promote a stronger pace of economic recovery and, again, quoting, keep prices stable over time. The goal there by the Federal Reserve, obviously, on the one hand, to try to put the brakes on, on what they see as maybe inflation coming down the road, but other, in, in, in another context, what is the Fed's goal here? Well, I think the Fed is uh, trying to put more liquidity in the system, partly because the banks aren't lending. And when people, uh, you know, we talk about the money supply, we forget the role that banks have in generating part of the money supply. They're not doing their part. And so the Fed is saying, if they're not doing their part, I got to do more on my side to get the same response. And uh, I think the analysis works perfectly well. Uh, the only problem is I don't see any need right now for further stimulus because money growth is uh, quite uh, robust. Mark, I'm taking a look at the uh, statement here, and you might want to call it the, the monetary policy equivalent of Muzak. <laughs> you know the tune. There isn't much difference here. The only real changes in the statement come in the very first sentence of the very first paragraph, where they change the economic assessment and say that the economic recovery is continuing at a rate that's been insufficient to bring down unemployment. At the last meeting, they just said that the pace of recovery and output employment continues to be slow. Everything else after that is is almost word for word exactly the same other than when they get to the 600 billion purchases instead of announcing it they say they're right. going to continue it even the dissent from Tom Honig is almost word for word the what it was at the last meeting so they sort of want you to uh, take note of what they did but then just kind of file it away there's nothing here for markets to even chew on uh, Dr. Radichuk uh, my colleague Michael McKee did mention that dissent from uh, Mr. Honig and he said that uh, the continued high level of monetary accommodation may eventually destabilize the economy are those words that uh, his uh, colleagues don't seem to be heeding at this point well I, right now the risks are not apparent uh, but then again you see when you change monetary policy uh, your inflationary fallout from that change can be 18 to 20 months later uh, and that's what you have to look at not what's happening to inflation now but where will inflation be in the second half of 2012 and doctor will it where, be where, at, where do you think it will be I think it's going to be trending upward and above their range so not terribly above, but I think it'll be above their range. But if, if that and therefore, is, I'm sorry, but there's no that, need. If that is in fact the case, what's the Fed's option then? Well, uh, I understand why the Fed announced the quantitative easing because they didn't believe that we would get any stimulus on the fiscal side. Right. But it now appears that we will get that, and so okay. as a result. The Federal Reserve, the Fed is now in a box. It's the question right. of, hey, I got credibility. I say right. I want this program. I say I need the program. Yeah. But on the other hand, hey, I really don't need it as much as I thought I did. All right. All right. Dr. Ron Donald Radichuk of uh, Morgan Keegan and our economics editor, Michael McKee. Gentlemen, thank you so much.